Heading down to a shop today called Arizona High Test. We're going to see what Jason down there has going on as far as builds. We did uh, photograph and film a truck form a few weeks ago for the GSI calendar. Um, so I'll put that at the end of the video. I'll have him talk about it a little bit and what went into that build. It was really cool. So I'm going to try to do more of these. There's I'm in a hotbed of shops and builders around here in the Phoenix uh, Valley. So I need to start getting out and hitting these shops up more and seeing what they have going on. So I don't really have a plan for this, but uh, we'll just see what happens. Hi, I'm Jason Berlin. We're at my shop, Arizona High Test, here in Chandler, Arizona. We started this business a little over a year ago and then we actually started in my two car garage. We quickly gained popularity for doing hard lines, so air suspension hard lines and brakes and fuel hard lines. Within a couple months we outgrew the two car garage and we moved here just down the street into a shop. I've always been interested in custom cars. I guess growing up with my dad, he was a, an engineer at GM when I was real young and so he kind of got me started on EFI swaps and that even in the young, young early days. I never thought that I would do it for a living, but just one thing kind of led to another and, and here I am. I'm not really sure why I've always been drawn towards trucks. I just never have liked cars. I've never really been into cars. I've always been into trucks. My first vehicle was a truck. I, I did a, a, like a, a father-son build with, with my dad right out of high school and, and it was a truck. And I've just, I've always been drawn towards the trucks. I'm, I'm not sure I completely understand it. I always want to put performance suspension, car-based engines and Really, uh, I think what's geared me in the last five years especially is this whole uh, kind of movement like with the C10 thing. It's like everybody that I meet from all walks of life, these dudes are awesome people. The, the truck scene right now is incredible. I, I couldn't imagine owning any other vehicle and going to different shows. You're not gonna have the same good group of people that are involved in the truck community right now. To be completely honest, my favorite part of building a vehicle is, is uh, is the teamwork side of it. So like we'll, we'll kind of collaborate all the guys here in the shop, think, run some different ideas past each other. Ultimately we decide on one and, uh, and watching it come to life. To me, that's, that's the whole, that's the goal. And, and, and seeing, it's definitely not just me by any means putting stuff together. It's, it's, a, it's always a group effort. So we have a few different projects going on in the shop right now. The majority of work that we do is, is on these GSI chassis. They're also located here in Chandler, Arizona, so it makes it really uh, easy for the owner. They order a chassis, they send it over here, and we can outfit it with whatever they want. If they want to do you know, just fuel lines and brake lines and air lines, we can do that. If we you know, put together an engine, build a motor for them, tranny, put together a powertrain package for them, and basically the chassis could leave here as, as uh, evolved as a basically something you could literally just drop your body on and drive the truck like the one behind me now is a porter built chassis uh, that one is a uh, a full build that we're doing so that that was a customer out of california it's a super nice truck that drove in here already ls swapped already bagged and then we just completely tore it apart and the the cab's actually behind you now but it got completely sandblasted and reworked it, it'll be a, a wild version 2.0 so this will be a uh, 1965 Chevrolet C10. Uh, we're going to do a, du a dually rendition with it. So it'll be a single cab and then a fleet side long bed. It's a customer out of Germany, super cool guy. Uh, but he's really trying to hit it out of the park. So he's got like one off American force wheels, one off little shop brakes, a big nasty rear end in the truck that's at like a, a Curry Enterprise uh, full floating axle, Nelson Racing twin turbo motor. I mean, it's, he's, he's, he's going wild with it. So GSI will do a dually chassis, which is basically the cross member and the, the A-arms, that's unique to the duallys. And then they also do the rear section of the chassis. So they run a monster four link bag over axle on these ones. And then basically they could just put whatever cab and whatever body you want on it. So really our job on that, on the fitment side is, is really, you know, the wheelbase is already figured out, the track width is already figured out. Now we just got to make the metal fit. So I mentioned earlier that I don't really like cars, but yet we have one here in the shop. 
I guess I am a sucker for certain cars. This 54, I definitely have always had a thing for. This one belongs to Danny Dixon, and he's kind of let us run wild in some areas with it. So we built him a pretty rowdy little LS motor for it. The fenders and the radiator support, all that's handmade here in house. We had a guy in town, Devin Barris, do all the paint work for us. So it's basically, the, the theme of the car is like the outside is like a, a, a a moderate a decent restoration the paint's definitely not perfect all the trim is there it's not now but we have the trim and it will be there so we'll put together as a fully trimmed car uh, but clearly the trim's not perfect there's some dings and dents in it which i like myself so it should be a cool little cruiser so this chassis here belongs to a local guy nick uh, this is a square body dually gsi front and rear kits pretty nasty uh, 12 valve in there twin turbo killer powertrain for this thing our, our project on it is just plumbing for him. So th this one, he's got a lot of really cool, like one-off stuff that you see. Uh, really, you kind of just see guys out of their garage doing these crazy little details. Um, so it's kind of cool to work with him and just see what he came up with. Just the amount of time into some of this stuff, I can't even imagine. Cool, so we got a few projects here in the shop. The dually we just heard about. Red chassis, 6772 C10, little small block in it, built small block. That thing should be pretty cool. Uh, the raw chassis up there, that'll be uh, twin turbo LSX, uh, 6772. Uh, chassis next to it's a 67 step side. That one will be a full build. This one came out of California, chopping block chassis, uh, 6772. Uh, just doing plumbing, air, and brakes on that one. Another car snuck in here, a Trans Am. This one's got five and a quarter LS3 T56. It should be a smoking little car. Doctoring up some work on it and then we'll kick it out the door. It should be a fun, fun little car. Let's see the stretch cab. <laughs> this one, we pumped the brakes on a little bit. We may be building a Jimmy instead. Surface Nick just did the rendering for that. I just got that this morning. I'm really pumped on, not that project. Same, same owner, new truck. Really pumped on that one. Uh, this chassis here, we're just fitting uh, air system, figuring out fuel system. Uh, then we'll bring it over and they'll finish gapping the sheet metal and do paint and body on it. Uh, so this one is the rendering that we just put out last week, the white 66 with rose gold trim. So this will be the chassis for it. Uh, just some mock-up stuff right now. We'll start really getting this thing together. I'm really excited about this one. This this one will be cool. We got some some good ideas. I feel like coming together for this one. So the '59 wine truck uh, really came to us in small progressions. He was his was I believe it was the first GSI full chassis that I plumbed. We were doing it out of my garage. I, I kind of watched the project evolve uh, through Rick at, at Homegrown Rides on on Instagram. Next thing I know, the chassis has got like this big LSA motor in it and a big transmission. And basically Rick was trying to help him put the puzzle together so the truck could just go home, uh, be transported back to Massachusetts. John, the owner of the truck, reached back out to me. He said, hey, can you do an exhaust on the truck? I saw these exhausts that you guys are, are putting out over there and I'd like to have that exhaust on my truck. So, so Rick brought the truck back up to us. We started doing the exhaust. And then next thing I know, um, the body starts showing up and other parts start showing up. And, and we really, we, I don't think, at least to my knowledge, we didn't really plan on like making this a, a turnkey truck, leaving the shop. Um, but I think John really liked the work that we were putting out. He saw the value in that and he continued going forward. Uh, it, it was an interesting build for me because John owns a shop. He's very capable of doing all of the work that we had done. Uh, but I, uh, I, I think like, again, he liked what we were putting out and, and he wanted to just see how far we could take it. So um, you could kind of see from the video, you know, when the door is open, the interior is not done. There's no stereo, parts of the dash are missing. And that was it. I mean, it really wasn't supposed to be a turnkey thing. We, we definitely took it further than what we had originally intended. Uh, but now he could put his spin on it, right? So he has a upholstery shop that he trusts and they're gonna do a good job on the stereo, on the upholstery. Um, and really just kind of fine tune things that, that we didn't do here. Uh, so it's really a collaborative build between him and I. And I think for me, the majority of the collaboration was on parts. I mean, he was so specific 
uh, John is so specific on OEM trim that's so hard to find and uh, patina quality parts. So like you're not going to go buy a new Taiwan steel or, or even a, a good American made steel. You put that next, you know, especially trim, you put that next to patina. It doesn't always look the greatest. So, I mean, he was always on the hunt for these little rare, hard to find things on that truck. And uh, so it was really cool to work with him because to be completely honest, I had never considered investing that amount of time uh, to get those details dialed in on what some people would consider junk. <laughs>